A small group of looters slip under a metal gate of a cell phone store on North Broad Street. Police weren't there, but our cameras were. Why are you stealing from your neighbors right here? This is a big corporation. That's a small business. Empty shoe boxes cover Germantown Avenue after a day of destruction. Ramsacking small businesses started overnight Saturday and never stopped, continuing all day Sunday across the city. This is no longer about George Floyd or the protests. This is a destructive mode. John Dyerell's business was also busted and broken into as looters tore out his computers, lingering onlookers threw water bottles at us while we spoke. You guys focus on stopping the violence, so when you see your door shattered and people throwing water bottles at your place of business, how does that make you feel? It makes me feel like, you know, this is, well, not like a workers of vain. Okay, our insurance company is going to pay for this and we're going to move forward. But it makes us feel unappreciated. In this neighborhood, most folks know us. From north to west Philly, police took guard of some stores in riot gear. Near Kensington and Port Richmond, looters grabbed whatever they could, some even tackling each other over stolen goods. This could have been in a different way. Like all the tearing up the stores they did, like looting and burning everything. How is that going to affect us next week? And that young man that I spoke with in Kensington after he watched so much looting in his neighborhood of not just big corporations, but mom and pop shops. He told me he doesn't know where he's going to get his groceries tomorrow, uh, just with all the destruction going on in his neighborhood. A lot of people uh, hurt and confused today. I also want to point out uh, that neighbors are still here guarding the doors of the Target in South Philly. And if you look Beyond them, there are shopping carts that are also kind of pressed up, barricading the doors. These people obviously don't want to see uh, some of the shops that they go to every day looted. And that is just what a lot of people, I think, want across this city right now after all the destruction we have seen today.